and change the color to like orange and maybe this can be like 500 only and you know move it around here hey everyone welcome to my new tutorial today we are going to make this fun space in a bottle illustration and i really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave that like and if you're new to the world of 3d and blender and you want to learn in the most effective way be sure to check out my courses i carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through local illustration all the way to full character illustration and textured environments so if you're interested please check out the link in the description now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all let's remove the light and the cube so let's drag a selection press x and delete and now we'll start with the bottle um, but before we do that we need some add-ons so let's go edit preferences add-ons and first let's search for extra and activate add mesh extra objects just check the box right here and then search for loop tools and again, just activate the checkbox and close the preferences. So now let's press Shift A and with the extra objects, you have the option to create a round cube. So let's do that. And let's switch the preset here to quad sphere. Um, that will create this nice sphere um, with the quads, um, not the UV sphere. So let's reduce to something like four. Um, that should be enough because we'll be using the subdivision modifier. And now let's zoom in a little bit and let's tap into the edit mode. And now let's switch to face select by pressing 3 on a keyboard or just click right here and select these four faces up top and press i to inset and let's do a slight inset like this and press g then z to move it up a little bit and now we'll right click and you have these loop tools options right here if you activated the add-on and we'll choose the circle they will organize these edges into a perfect circle right here and now we can press x and delete faces and we have this perfect circular opening right here so we can go for edge select by pressing 2 or just click here alt click the loop and press e then z to extrude now let's press e then z again and press s to scale up a little bit and e then z once again and if this is too high you can always activate the x-ray view select all of these edges press g then z and bring this down like this now let's disable the x-ray view and now let's step out let's go to modifiers panel and let's add solidify modifiers so we give the bottle some thickness so let's increase the thickness right here and now we can go ahead and add subdivision surface modifier right here and let's increase levels to two right click and shade smooth um, but now we'll need some supporting edges here so tap back in and press ctrl r to create new edge loops click here and drag it up and let's create one here as well and one towards the top so we round it up a little bit better so now this is the bottle design now let's create some kind of cork so let's press shift a and we'll add a circle and let's modify it to something like 12 vertices that should be enough and let's bring it up so press g then z and bring it here now let's tap into the edit mode press s and scale it down like this now press f to fill and e to extrude and s to scale something like this now let's activate the x-ray again and let's hold alt and shift and click the bottom loop so we have both of these faces selected and press ctrl b to create the bevel and increase number of cuts with the mouse wheel to something like this so we have support edges built in right there let's confirm and now we can tab out and let's go ahead and add that subdivision modifier here as well increase the levels right click and shade smooth now we can turn off the x-ray and the basic modeling is done so now let's press shift a and we'll create another round cube and you can see the preset stays the same so we can just work with this and now let's press ctrl 2 that's the shortcut to add subdivision modifier with two levels of subdivision right click shade smooth and now we'll look from the side by pressing 3 on an unpad let's enable the x-ray view and now press s and start scaling it down so you go beyond the thickness of the bottle something like this so it kind of like barely touches there okay and we'll create another one so let's press shift d to duplicate right click to release in place so we have three of those and to make a sense of it let's rename them so this will be a bottle this will be fog 
and the third one will be stars. And just to have everything in place right away, we can press Shift A and we can add an icosphere. Right click, shade it smooth, press G and Z, move it down and make it smaller like this. And let's press Ctrl A and apply that scale that will serve as a star. So let's press F2 and rename it to star. So you can rename either in viewport by pressing F2 or right here, just as before. And now let's select everything here. Hold Shift, select the bottle and press Ctrl P and parent. And now we can select only the bottle. Look from the side by pressing 3 on an unpad, press G then Z and move it up. So it kind of sits here on the ground. And now let's press Shift A and we'll create a plane. Tap into the edit mode and scale it up like this. And let's look from the camera, select it, press G then Z and move it up like this. So this is something we can work with. And I think we can have more narrow field of view here. So let's modify the output to something like 1080 to 1080. And now we can press G then Z twice and that will move the camera on the local axis so we can move it closer like this. Now let's expand the bottle right here and select the stars object and let's go to the particle settings and create a new particle emitter. And now let's leave the number as is and let's set the frame start to zero and the end at zero as well. So we have all the particles in place and let's increase the lifetime to the length of the animation. So in case we are animating this, they don't disappear. And of course, uh, let's disable the physics. Let's switch from Newtonian to known because um, the same reason if you animate the scene, they would just fall down there. So let's disable the physics and in the render settings, we'll switch halo to object and we'll find the star icosphere right here in the list. And now let's increase the scale randomness all the way to one. And you can see the effect of this right here. You can see how they're changing randomly their size. And let's increase the scale a little bit. And now I want this to be volumetric. So let's go ahead and in the source, let's emit from volume and they will get cluttered here in the middle, which looks really great for this kind of um, design. And one last thing in the render settings, let's disable show emitter. And if you want this to work in EV as well, um, in the viewport display, let's disable it as well. Yeah, that should be about it in terms of the particles. And now you can play with the number. So if you one really dense like a star field um, you can increase this or you can go other way around if you want you know something more subtle so i will leave it probably at like 800 and the rest of the design now will be mostly about the lighting and the materials and everything um, because this scene itself um, doesn't have much um, to it so you will have to extensively play with materials and lighting and effects um, to really, you know, bring this to life. Um, so let's press Ctrl B and limit the render preview to camera bounds. And in the render settings, I have the EV. So let's switch to cycles and let's switch to GPU if you have one. And let's enable some denoising and I will use optics denoising because I'm using NVIDIA. GPU and now for the samples I will go something like 512 and both for the viewport so we don't sample too much when we're previewing and basically that's it for now so let's switch to render preview so let's hold Z and switch to rendered and you can see there's not much light happening out here so let's fix that and let's go to the shading and let's switch the context from object to world and we'll be using the HDRI lighting here. I don't use HDRIs much, um, but in cases like this where there's not much um, happening around the object in terms of the scene, and I really want to have like reflective objects like glass, you know, and stuff like that, um, it would really feel flat because there's nothing to reflect around. Um, and in those cases, the HDRI can really elevate your scene. So let's select the background here and I'll press Shift A and go texture and create an environment texture. And let's just connect it right here. And to be able to change the rotation um, of the texture, let's press Shift A and let's go vector and mapping. And let's connect it right here. So in terms of texture, um, I'm using the HDRI from the Polyhaven 
um, something like this you can go ahead and download it i will link the file in the description um, i might have a different hdri at hand um, i'm not really sure which one i used uh, because this is the one i saved a long time ago so i just have it on my disk um, but this should work just fine just make sure you select some sunset hdri with really like a strong orangey uh, sunlight there so just go ahead download this and now let's just open and i will navigate um, to my hdris and i will select my dusk hdri right here and you cannot see it right here so you need to go and switch the lighting to scene world and of course there's one more thing we need so let's press shift a and we'll go ahead and go input and texture coordinate because we need to tell the mapping node what coordinates it's using so let's plug it here in the vector and now we have the hdri in place and first of all let's go to the camera view and i want the sunlight going from behind of the bottle so let's change the z rotation on the mapping here so we have the sun right there and now we can go to the layout view and right away this will look a little bit differently and we have the hdri in place as you can see um, but you know the ambience of the scene uh, doesn't look too great so let's create that glass material so let's select the bottle go to the materials and let's create a new one and right here we'll just increase the transmission all the way to one and reduce the roughness to something like 0.02 so it's glossy and make sure you go to the base color and increase all the way to white because that will make a lot of difference so this is starting to look good and now we can use some you know additional ambient lights uh, to really enhance the scene so let's press shift a and we'll add an area light bring it up and let's make it a little bit larger and i will switch this to disk and increase to something like 250 and this will really start to come to life right here but i really like how the sun from the hdri creates um, this really nice distortions in the glass and in terms of the glass you can play with the ior for for example this is now 1.45 which is realistic but you can go 1.1 if you want less distortion but i really like the 1.45 um, IOR there so let's just go ahead and select the other round cube which is the fog and let's create a new material for it and that will be the volumetric material so here um, with the surface output let's go ahead and just remove this let's collapse the surface and we'll create the volumetric material here so let's go principled volume um, and now we'll change the color to something like a dark blue and increase the density to around five so it's really dense in there and you can see right away the reflections came up pretty nicely and we can see the stars inside uh, which is quite nice um, of course you can go ahead and create a new material on the star object right here and and for example give it a little bit of an emission and you can of course go something like three if you want this to be stronger if you want even you know those stars behind um, to be visible and now you can go ahead and play with the particles so for example you can reduce the size if it looks too large and there you have it um, there's your starry night um, in the bottle and let's now go ahead select the background let's go to the materials tab create a new material let's bring the color down quite a bit let's give this like a greenish blue color and let's increase the roughness and maybe even reduce the specular and now we can create the backlight right here so we can duplicate this area light bring it back and ramp it up to something like 1500 so we have even more dramatic lighting going on around the bottle and we can duplicate this and move it around to create some new reflections here on the side of the bottle and here we don't probably need so strong so yeah something like this and now you can really make this uh, creative um, with some you know cleverly placed point lights 
um, with different colors. So let's press Shift A and we'll create a point light. Press G then Z and move it up. And this is barely visible now. So let's increase the power to something like 500. And now you will see it kick in um, within that volumetric material and it will nicely disperse um, the light in there. Maybe we can go even something like 1500 and we can go something like a blue color right there. And then we can press Shift D and Z to duplicate it, place it and change the color to like orange. And maybe this can be like 500 only and you know, move it around here. So you get to create these like, you know, nebula style effects right there um, inside the volumetric material. And if you want to go really funky, you can press Shift A and add, for example, a standard UV sphere, right click, shade it smooth, place it inside a bottle. So you can have some planets happening right here. Just place it closer to the camera. So in the volumetric material, they're actually visible. You can play with the color here as well and maybe create a small moon next to it or something like that. And now you can just go ahead and in the render settings um, and color management, change the contrast to something like high contrast and play with the exposure, maybe tone down the background even more to something darker. And maybe give this some some color and here as well and then of course you can just take everything remove the light let's parent it again and now we can press shift and right bracket to select everything press alt d and just move it around, create a new one. And of course you can separate um, the materials there. Um, you don't need to create like a link duplicates there. So you can create like different colored bottles and different planets in them. You can go really creative here. Um, like I will leave this to your imagination. Let's place this down a little bit. And yeah, basically that's the space in the bottle. And I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please don't forget to leave that like. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.